the New York Jets versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is who's in, who's out, and everything you need to know about this game. So, the New York Jets, coming in at 2-4, and four, will take on the 4-2 and two Pittsburgh Steelers at Akershire Stadium. The Pittsburgh Steelers will be home Sunday night football at 8.20 p.m. Eastern Time. Each team is coming off some big moves. The New York Jets, they just traded for wide receiver Devontae Adams. And also last week, they fared their head coach and switched offense coordinators. But for the Pittsburgh Steelers, they are making a quarterback change. Russell Wilson is officially listed as the Pittsburgh Steelers starting quarterback against the Jets. But first, before I get more into everything, like injuries and who's in, who's out, make sure you subscribe to the channel, try notifications for everything Pittsburgh Steelers news and updates. Also, like this video. Now, let's get right back into it. So, this is going to be a big game for each team. This is a must-win game for the Jets because they don't want their record slipping even more. And this is a big game for the Steelers because they have a good record and they don't want to become a team that falls behind in the AFC North division, which is a tough division. So, you look at this game and you look at the injuries. Both teams are banged up, but the Pittsburgh Steelers are even more banged up. So, let's start with them. You look at the game statuses for the players on the Steelers. Roman Wilson, wide receiver, with a hamstring injury, is questionable for this week's game. And also, safety to Monte Casey, he was downgraded to questionable today with an ankle injury. Linebacker Nick Herbig, he's out for this week's game, missing back-to-back -back weeks. You also look at Dylan Cook, offensive tackle, he will miss this game with a foot injury. And also, running back and kick returner Cordero Patterson with an ankle injury, once again, is out as well. So, that's not it for the Steelers. There's so many more players on injured reserve that have been out this season. They're missing like three offensive linemen. They're missing their entire outside linebacker core, basically. And they're missing some other players as well. So, I'm not going to get into that because they've been out for a minute now. Now, switching over to the New York Jets injury report, you look at their destinations and game statuses for the game, and you look at cornerback Michael Carter II. He's out with a back injury. And you look at tight end Tyler Conklin. He's questionable with a hip injury. Cornerback DJ Reed with a groin injury is also questionable. And linebacker Chaz Surratt with a heel injury is also questionable. So, you look at the Jets, they have some players with some game statuses who are up in the air and it'll really be a game time decision along with the Pittsburgh Steelers, but to be honest, the Steelers have way more players injured, but they're not going to appear the injury report because they have like over 10 players on injured reserve. But at the end of the day, no teams are going to make excuses, it's football and the game will be played either way. No team is going to feel sorry for each other and the Steelers and the Jets are going to have to fight it out on Sunday Night Football in prime time. So, looking at this game, and you look at it from a Pittsburgh Steelers perspective, I already said that Russell Wilson has officially named the starter. He will be starting this week's game. That means Justin Fields will be sent to the bench. And you look at Russell Wilson starting, and it's going to be a big deal. Because this is his first game as a Pittsburgh Steeler. And his first game since with the Denver Broncos. Obviously he played in preseason, but he's been injured. So him coming in, it's going to be a big deal and all the lights are going to be on him and the whole world's going to be watching because it's prime time football. This isn't just a 1 p.m. game, a 4 p.m. game. No, this is prime time football and a lot of people will be watching this game to see how Russell Wilson is going to play. So is he going to play good? Is he going to play bad? You look at this game, and this is probably one of the worst situations he could be put in in terms of facing a good defense. The Jets have a really good front in terms of getting to the quarterback and creating pressure. So hopefully Russell Wilson's able to get the ball quick. He's able to avoid that. He's been one of the longest terms of passers to keep the ball in their hands. He has the longest passing to throw time the past couple of years so hopefully he's able to get the ball out quicker and avoid the Jets defense but that's going to be the main key for the Steelers are they actually able to throw the ball because their running game is going to take a big hit Justin Fields 
adds 50 to 75 yards running the ball just by himself. So that means the rushing yards are going to be down this week. But hopefully that means that the passing yards will be up and the offense can move down the field quicker. So that's going to be interesting to watch. The running game will 100% take a hit. Will the passing game get better to make up for the running game taking a hit? Or will the Pittsburgh Steelers struggle? Who knows? Maybe Russell Wilson struggles and Justin Fields end up coming back in next week. But expect to see Justin Fields on the field as well for some moments because Mike Tomlin did say that was going to happen just for design runs and stuff like that. So expect to see Justin Fields out there for some plays as well. But obviously Russell Wilson with a bulk load of the snaps. So looking at at the Pittsburgh Steelers offense, that's literally what it's going to be. Russell Wilson, the short game. Russell Wilson getting the ball quick. And Najee Harris. You look at the Steelers defense, obviously they're going to do their thing. They're facing a really bad Jets offense. They just really started getting clicking last week. But it's a really bad Jets offense. They just added Devontae Adams. So that's another guy the Pittsburgh Steelers should have to keep their eye on. Devontae Adams, Aaron Rodgers' best player he's probably ever played with you look at him and now he's alongside Garrett Wilson so those are two wide receivers the Pittsburgh Steelers secondary is not really too good in terms of playing defense and man-to-man so hopefully they're able to lock those guys down and at least just do a solid job so they also have Brees Hall Brees Hall's a really good running back pass catching and running the ball so they have really three big threats on offense alongside Aaron Rodgers. So the Pittsburgh Steelers defense is going to be tested. Even though the Jets offense has not been good this season, they have some playmakers. So hopefully the Steelers are able to shut it down and keep the Jets closed in. So TJ Watt getting to Aaron Rodgers, Cameron Hayward getting to Aaron Rodgers, having Alex Highsmith back is going to be huge because Aaron Rodgers is not mobile. He's not going to be able to move around the pocket. He's not going to be able to run and keep the play alive. So if you're able to get pressure on him, that's where it's going to be key. Getting pressure on Aaron Rodgers. He's not the player he used to be. And hopefully the Steers are able to do that. Looking at the Jets side of the ball, what are they going to have to do? Well, it seems as though when teams get the ball out quick versus the Pittsburgh Steelers, they struggle. So if Jets are able to do that, throw to the outside, do some screens, do some just flare out routes. That's where the Steers struggle most. So that's what the Jets more than likely will be doing. The Steers also struggle sometimes down the field when the play is extending. But hopefully that's not enough time because the Steers pass rush. Also the Steelers struggle when the teams dump it off to the running back. And have the running back run for extra yardage. And that's all Brees Hall basically does in terms of catching the ball. Those dump offs. So the Steelers have to be aware of that, but that's the green, that's the Jets passing game right there. So that's what the Jets plan to do, and that's what the Steelers hopefully can defend. It seems as though the Steelers defense always start off slow and allow an opening drive score. So hopefully they're able to shut down right away and not allow that. Also, the Steelers always start slow on offense as well. So hopefully they're able to start faster as well this Sunday night against the Jets. Is going into what week seven now so hopefully they be able to pick it up and actually the offense coordinator makes a difference and the scheme of things are different from each other week when they start slow so the Steelers need to start fast offense and defense and now that the Jets outpace them early on in this football game and let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this game and the injury port for this game how do you feel as though that's going to affect each team? And also, how do you feel about Russell Wilson starting this game over Justin Fields? Do you believe it gives the Steelers a better chance to win? Or did you believe that Justin Fields did? Also, let me know your thoughts on the comments below. Who's going to win this game? The Jets or the Steelers? Will the Jets move to 3-4? and four? And will the Pittsburgh Steelers drop to 4-3? and three? Or will the Steelers move to 5-2 and two and give Jets another loss? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Me personally, I believe this will be a tough one. This is the first loss I gave the Pittsburgh Steelers because I really believe Justin Fields would have won this game. I believe that Russell Wilson will struggle and the Jets offense will get clicking. So in my eyes, I hope the Pittsburgh Steelers win. I want them to, but I believe Russell Wilson will struggle in this game against the Jets. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn notifications for everything Pittsburgh Steelers news, updates, 
highlights analysis reports, everything like that. I cover everything Steelers, best spot for Steelers football, and like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications. Until next time, I'll see you guys all later. I'm out. Peace.